There's one fucking thing that I hate. One thing that I absolutely hate when it comes to YouTube drama or just drama in general, or even just like, you know, real life situations is when people try to pull the fucking sympathy card. When people try to pull the sympathy card and not just that, but also in terms of like the situation that actually happened, they change the narrative of that. They cut certain things out to make it seem like, you know, they were the one that was the victim and they were the one that, you know, all, all of the blame should be put on the other person that harmed them in any type of way and that they are completely innocent in, in, in the situation altogether. That pisses me off. That I fucking can't stand. It happens so fucking much these days and it really, really fucking pisses me off. And we have just seen another one happen and it has been and it is involving an extremely large content creator, Ms. Kiff and also Mitch Jones. So if you don't know who either are, Mitch Jones is a... He's not like a massive, massive um, streamer. I'd say he, he, he does have a decent amount of following, but I wouldn't say he has a, a following as big as Ms. Kiff. Ms. Kiff would arguably have to be one of the biggest, you know, streamers at the moment. He has been for a little while now. He's obviously part of OTK, which I've mentioned in the past that I'm, you know, massive fan of. You know, that whole organization has got, you know, big streamers and he's one of them. He's one of the owners of OTK. He recently opened up a gym as well in Austin. And now he's being accused of assault by Mitch Jones. So just today, this all just came out literally, well, not today by the time this video gets uploaded, but yesterday, this all started to come out. So Mitch Jones was on, on stream and he proceeded to show this video. I'm not sure actually if it was on stream, but he put up this video of supposedly, you know, he was, Ms. Kiff and him were in the car. Ms. Kiff was obviously driving because supposedly, you know, from from the video, uh, Mitch Jones was intoxicated and not just with alcohol, but also on drugs as well. And supposedly, Ms. Kiff assaulted Mitch Jones. So I'm going to show the video now. But just take in mind, just take this in consideration. Also, Mitch Jones talks throughout this as well. And he shows like his bruises and stuff like that. Is that there is suspicious amount of cuts that happen in this video. Suspicious amount. So just notice that with this video, nothing, it doesn't really show what led up to the situation. All it shows is, you know, the end of, of what, of the altercation. It doesn't show the middle of how everything actually happened. Swear! So back to the story, I was at his house, we were arguing, and then I asked him for a ride home. Uh, I get in his car, we're still arguing, and that's when we drive past this part of the neighborhood where the camera caught the assault, and I have the evidence right here. <laughs> So that was right before the assault. This is directly after the assault. Swear! Do you want to do it again? Huh? You said you could take me seven times. You can listen to yourself, you're drunk and on cocaine. I tried to talk to you with a friend, you're treating me like shit. You figured I'd kill myself. And all you can say is fuck you. And all you can do is say fuck you. You can't do treating me like shit. At the doctor getting my uh, head checked, getting a CT scan, I have bruising from where Ms. Kiff hit me. He definitely socked me here, here. Here's where my, I think I got knocked out and then choked me. I have, damn, I have bruising everywhere on my face. Hopefully I don't have a concussion. Also, my tooth got fucked up. I'll get that fixed though. Don't you know, don't you think that it is super convenient that all Mitch showed was right, right as the car skidded to stop. And as soon as Mitch gets out of the car, he cuts it. And then all he shows is the end of the altercation. So we don't actually see how it really, really started. As you can hear in the video, and you can see by the subtitles, is that Ms. Kiff is claiming that he, you know, 
is the one who initiated this altercation. And I don't see why Miss Kiff would lie in this situation because he obviously doesn't know that there's a fucking... Someone has, like, their front porch camera pointing into that direction. I don't even know how, like, supposedly um, Mitch Jones actually came across any of this information. Maybe, you know, Mitch has char put, like, charges onto Ms. Kiff and the police have investigated into this and then, you know, the ev or, like this evidence has been given to Ms. Jones. I don't exactly know. That's just me, like, guessing of, of like, how or maybe, you know, Mitch is himself is actually, like, trying to do some, his own investigation to, like, go into it. So he's, like, asks neighbours to see if they have any, like, you know, camera footage. And obviously, you know, heaps of people, especially, you know, where Ms. Kiff and, like, these streamers live, they live in decently wealthy neighbourhoods with, like, big houses and stuff like that. So it wouldn't surprise me that all these these people have like these front porch cameras and it wouldn't be you know surprising to see that you know that they actually got this footage but i don't see why miss kiff would obviously lie he said in the video you can see it he says that you tried to drag me out of the car you he initiated it mitch jones was drunk he was on cocaine and he was the one who initiated this fight i don't see any other reason why miss kiff would have skidded like stopped the car like obviously if they're having a fight at miss kiff's house that's absolutely fine. They'll probably have, like, some kind of verbal fight. Probably weren't getting along well. You know, obviously, Mitch is, like, drunk and on drugs. So, you know, Miz is just like, I'm going to go fucking take this guy home. He's being an absolute idiot. Start to drive him home. Obviously, the reason why he's probably skidded the car is because Mitch is acting like an idiot. Probably abusing Miz Kiff. He's skidded the car. Mitch has gotten out, gone around the side to try and drag Miz out of the car. What do you want him to do? He's obviously got to fucking defend himself. Obviously, he has to. Fucking self-defense. Especially in America, you know. It, it not like here in Australia where it's self-defense rules here are pretty fucking terrible. Like, here in Australia, self-defense, you, you can actually get charged with assault if you, you know, try to s defend yourself, which is really fucking stupid. But in America, you can completely defend yourself. If someone initiates a fight with you, you you go ahead. You have the all fucking right to go ahead and give them as much damage as they were going to fucking give to you. So, you know what? I'm completely on Mrs. side. And obviously, I'm not the only one. The whole entire internet is on his side. And there's also been a couple of people. Before I show some um, screenshots of people on Twitter, I'm going to show a couple of clips back to back here. This is um, Alidany and Canute, who are obviously friends of Ms. Kiff. So obviously, they're going to be on their, his side. But also, you know, uh, where they're coming from is obviously reasonable. You know, they're giving their side. Alidany talks about Mitch. And then Canute gives his side about the scuffle itself. So I'm going to show the clips back to back. I'll show Alidany's first. And then I'll show Canute as well directly after that. Yeah, because I heard that he had gotten in a fight with some other person that I'm not going to get involved in this. But I know that there was another person that he was fighting with. Actually, and there was someone else that he almost got in a fight with a few days after that. Like, at a Halloween party. He was fighting another person. And he had to get kicked out of this party. Mitch was just fighting people. Like, he was just fighting everyone. Showing up to places where nobody wanted him. And just fighting people. Legit. And then he was crying because he doesn't get invited to shit. Sounds like a scam. It most likely is a scam when it's Mitch Jones. <laughs> I can guarantee you he has no done uh, several things. Yeah, he has lied over and over again. So then we don't care. We support Ms. Kip on this. Of course I would have done it. Even if he beat him up, he would have been well deserved almost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Sorry for that joke. <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> so obviously you can see by those two clips there is that Mitch Jones is obviously, you know, he's not a very well-liked person. And this isn't the... I'm trying to do a video here. So obviously, M Mitch is a bad is is the bad person in all of this. Literally, he says right there is that he was trying to st he tried to start a fight. He got into a fight with another person before this altercation with Ms. Kiff, and then he gets into another fight at a Halloween party just a few days after this altercation happens. So obviously, Mitch is probably in a fucking dead hole. He's trying to play the sympathy card here, trying to make himself out like he's the victim. Guys, help me. Uh, you know, this is all against me. Look what these people have done to me. I got beat up by Ms. Kiff. It wasn't deserved at all. Canute's obviously said it. You know what? Canute said it, and he's just like, oh, I'm joking. But he said it is that, like, you know, he kind of deserved it. And I, I don't really know Mitch Jones personally. But, I mean, if you're starting fights with other people, 
I mean, you obviously already seem like a dickhead. I'm not a big fan of people who are, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of alcohol or drugs. You know, I don't, I don't drink alcohol that much anymore. I used to when I was younger. Drugs I've never really been a big fan of. I've, I've never really taken drugs themselves. But he obviously, maybe he seems like he might have a problem when it comes to stuff like that. So he obviously seems like a bit of a dickhead. And don't try to fucking play the sympathy card. That's the worst fucking thing that he could have done. I like, one thing I like about this is that I hate when people play the sympathy card and people completely lean on that person and, and back that person altogether, even though you can clearly see that they are actually the person who's in the wrong. But I love that the internet has fucking come together. The internet for once in a very long time has actually said, Mitch Jones is the fucking idiot. Fuck this guy. He is obviously the one that is that is in the fucking wrong here. We can see it. Like I, I, we'll go through a bit of bit of uh, screenshots of Twitter. This person says right here, "Fuck Mitch Jones, Mizkiff standing one business. We are." 100%. This guy believes, like, Mizkiff, as he fucking should. Apparently, Mizkiff beat the shit out of a drunken, coked-up Mitch Jones. Do I feel bad? And then it's a WWE clip. Here's another one right here. Mizkiff thinking he was about to be cancelled for beating Mitch Jones' ass. <laughs> and it's just, it's the fucking video of Homelander, like, laughing. No way he'd get cancelled for this. There is fucking no shot in here. He should not be cancelled. The moment that I saw the video, I already knew something was up. I 100% from the first time I saw the video, I was just like, there is not enough context to this. I am one of those people where I will, I will at first, when I see someone that's assaulted, I'll be like, okay, this person got assaulted. I feel bad for this person. And then I go to, I, I look at, I look at what's given. And if there's another enough context given, I will be like, yep, I fucking 100% believe this person. 100%. But the moment I saw this, I saw that Ms. Kiff assaulted someone. I'm like, oh shit. Miss Kiff, what have you done now? Like, man, how, how could you have done this? And then I watched the video. I watched the evidence that was given. And when I watched it, I straight away was scratching my head and I was just like, this seems like fucking bullshit. This, we're not given enough. There is so much context cut out of this. And then I watched Alinity, what Alinity had to say. Then I watched what Canute had to say. Then I read what other people were saying on the internet as well. And I'm just like, I knew, I knew it wasn't fucking true. I knew it wasn't fucking true. Of course it wasn't true. No fucking shot. I love this one as well, right here. It's a uh, gif of Naruto beating the shit out of Sasuke during their first fight after the Sasuke retrieval arc. And it's Miss Kiff working Mitch Jones. <laughs> this one here too, this is the last, last one from Twitter, last one from Twitter, uh, is Miss Kiff after after Mitch pulled him out of the car, it's just fucking my man. Just I don't know who that is. I'm I, I'm not a massive UFC fan, but and it's kind of blurry as well. <laughs> it's just it's fucking hilarious. But I, I am I am very intrigued to see what like I I definitely see Miss Kiff saying something um about this in the next like coming day um i was watching asman's stream today um at the start of it just when he does like his news and reaction stuff and he didn't say anything about it maybe it hadn't really made it around to him yet but i definitely see him saying something about it too because you know asman is very outspoken you know when it comes to anything involving otk so i'm very interested to see what Ms. Kiff uh, and asman have to say but obviously they're gonna stand on ground i i hope that Ms. Kiff doesn't apologize in any fucking way possible because i don't think that he did anything wrong I honestly don't think that. And I obviously see Asmin and the whole OTK crew standing behind Ms. Kiff and saying, yeah, Mitch Jones is an asshole. Maybe he didn't deserve to be bashed, but he brought it on himself. He, he It looks like this man brought it on himself. He initiated the fight. Yeah, he probably, it, you know what? He shouldn't have gotten, you know, punched up and fucking concussed and all that shit and had his tooth broken. But you brought it on yourself and that's what you get. You fuck around and you're going to find out. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. That's it from me. Peace out.